In computing, hardware-assisted virtualization is a platform virtualization approach that enables efficient full virtualization using help from hardware capabilities, primarily from the host processors. Full virtualization is used to simulate a complete hardware environment, or virtual machine, in which an unmodified guest operating system executes in complete isolation. Hardware-assisted virtualization was added to x86 processors in 2006. Hardware-assisted virtualization is also known as accelerated virtualization. Zen calls it hardware virtual machine, and Virtual Lion calls it native virtualization. History Hardware-assisted virtualization first appeared on the IBM System-370 in 1972, for use with VM-370, the first virtual machine operating system. With the increasing demand for high-definition computer graphics, virtualization of mainframes lost some attention in the late 1970s, when the upcoming mini-computers fostered resource allocation through distributed computing, encompassing the commoditization of microcomputers. IBM offer hardware virtualization for their power CPUs under AIX and for their IBM mainframe system Z. IBM refers to their specific form of hardware virtualization as logical partition, or more commonly as LPAR. The increase in compute capacity per x86 server and in particular the substantial increase in modern networks bandwidths rekindled interest in data center-based computing which is based on virtualization techniques. The primary driver was the potential for server consolidation. Virtualization allowed a single server to cost efficiently consolidate compute power on multiple underutilized dedicated servers. Cloud computing is the new synonym for the said data center based computing through high bandwidth networks, is the most visible hallmark of a return to the roots of computing. It is closely connected to virtualization. The initial implementation x86 architecture did not meet the Pope and Goldberg virtualization requirements to achieve classical virtualization, equivalents a program running under the virtual machine monitor should exhibit a behavior essentially identical to that demonstrated when running on an equivalent machine directly, resource control, the VMM must be in complete control of the virtualized resources, efficiency. A statistically dominant fraction of machine instructions must be executed without VMM intervention, this made it difficult to implement a virtual machine monitor for this type of processor. Specific limitations included the inability to trap on some privileged instructions. To compensate for these architectural limitations, designers have accomplished virtualization of the x86 architecture through two methods, full virtualization or paravirtualization. Both create the illusion of physical hardware to achieve the goal of operating system independence from the hardware but present some trade-offs in performance and complexity. Paravirtualization is a technique in which the hypervisor provides an API and the OS of the guest virtual machine calls that API, requiring OS modifications. Full virtualization was implemented in first-generation x86 VMMs. It relies on binary translation to trap and virtualize the execution of certain sensitive, non-virtualizable instructions. With this approach, critical instructions are discovered and replaced with traps into the VMM to be emulated in software. Binary translation can incur a large performance overhead in comparison to a virtual machine running on natively virtualized architectures such as the IBM System-370. Virtual Box VMW ARE Workstation, and Microsoft Virtual PC, are well-known commercial implementations of full virtualization. In 2005 and 2006, Intel and AMD created new processor extensions to the x86 architecture called Intel VTX and AMD V, respectively. The first generation of x86 processors to support these extensions were released in late 2005 early 2006, on November 13, 2005, Intel released two models of Pentium 4 as the first Intel processors to support VTX. On May 23, 2006, AMD released the Athlon 64, the Athlon 64X2 and the Athlon 64FX as the first AMD processors to support this technology. 
Well-known implementations of hardware-assisted x86 virtualization include VMW ARE Workstation, Zen 3X, Linux KVM and Microsoft Hyper-V. Pros Hardware-assisted virtualization reduces the maintenance overhead of para-virtualization as it reduces the changes needed in the guest operating system. It is also considerably easier to obtain better performance. A practical benefit of hardware-assisted virtualization has been cited by VMW ARE engineers and Virtual Iron. Cons, hardware-assisted virtualization requires explicit support in the HO CPU, which is not available on all x86-x86-64 processors. A pure hardware-assisted virtualization approach, using entirely unmodified guest operating systems, involves many VM traps and thus high CPU overheads, limiting scalability and the efficiency of server consolidation. This performance hit can be mitigated by the use of paravirtualized drivers. The combination has been called hybrid virtualization. In 2006 first-generation 32- and 64-bit x86 hardware support was found rarely to offer performance advantages over software virtualization. See also Further refinements of hardware-assisted virtualization are possible using an IOMMU. This allows native speed access to dedicated hardware from a guest operating system, including DMA-capable hardware, rapid virtualization indexing, extended page table, other virtualization techniques include operating system-level virtualization, as practiced by Parallels Virtuoso containers, and application virtualization. Nanokernel, Hardware Emulation, Emulator, Joint Test Action Group, Background Debug Mode Interface, In Circuit Emulator. References Adams, Keith. A Comparison of Software and Hardware Techniques for x86 Virtualization. Retrieved January 20, 2013. Chris Barkley, New Approach to Virtualizing x86s, Network World, 102006. CHTTP, x86 VMM blogspot.com 12 slash graphics and IO virtualization HTML, CHTTP, www.varlinux.co.jptech 2007 Intel PDF, Jun Nakajima and Asit K. Malik, Hybrid Virtualization A Euro Enhanced Virtualization for Linux, in Proceedings of the Linux Symposium, Ottawa, June 2007, HTTP, OLS 108 Red Hat Com Reprints Nakajima Reprint PDF, A Comparison of Software and Hardware Techniques for x86 Virtualization, Keith Adams and Ole Ageson, VMW ARE, Asplosa Euro Unregistered Trademark October 6, 21A. Euro 25, 2006, San Jose, California, USA Surprisingly, we find that the first-generation hardware support rarely offers performance advantages over existing software techniques. We ascribe the situation to high VMM guest transition costs and a rigid programming model that leaves little room for software flexibility in managing either the frequency or cost of these transitions. Further reading, Fisher Ogden, John. Hardware Support for Efficient Virtualization. UCSD. Retrieved August 5, 2010. Smith, Jim. Naya, Ravi. Virtual Machines. Morgan Kaufman 8.5 Performance Enhancement of System Virtual Machines. ISBN 1-55860-910-5. OSISC, DL. Jackson, KM. Gum, PHESA slash 390 Interpretive Execution Architecture. Foundation for VMESA. IBM Systems Journal 30. Adams, Keith. Ageson, Olay. A Comparison of Software and Hardware Techniques for x86 Virtualization. International Conference on Architectural Support for Programming Languages and Operating Systems, San Jose, California, USA. ACM 1 59593 451-0010. Retrieved December 22, 2006. Performance Evaluation of AMD RVI Hardware Assist. VMW ARE. 
Performance Evaluation of Intel EPT Hardware Assist. VMWARE